Hi students, this is Alex here. In this video, we are going to find the nature of the quadratic form. From this given equation, we are going to write the matrix A where the leading diagonal elements are coefficient of x1 square, coefficient of x2 square, coefficient of x3 square. There is no x1, x2 term, so these two places 0 and x1, x3 terms coefficient is 8, so half of the value is 4. So I have to write here and there is no x2, x3 term, so these places 0. From this, we are going to find the eigen values by writing the characteristic equation determinant of a minus lambda i equal to 0. So this will be 2 minus lambda 0, 4, 0, 6 minus lambda 0, 4, 0, 2 minus lambda. This determinant we are going to expand. Taking the first element 2 minus lambda into 6 minus lambda into 2 minus lambda minus 0. Then there is no middle element because it's 0. Then the last element is plus 4 into 0 minus 4 into 6 minus lambda which is equal to 0. Now this is 2 minus lambda. Expanding this we get 6 to 12 minus 6 lambda minus 2 lambda minus 8 lambda plus lambda square. And here we have 4. If I multiply this we get minus 24 plus 4 lambda which is equal to 0. Now let's multiply this inside. So we get 24 minus 16 lambda plus 2 lambda square minus 12 lambda plus 8 lambda square minus lambda cube minus 96 plus 16 lambda equal to 0. Let's write the lambda cube term first, so minus lambda cube. Coming to lambda square, there are two terms. By combining this, we get plus 10 lambda square. Then minus 16 lambda plus 16 lambda we can cancel. Then the remaining is only minus 12 lambda. And the constant term 24 minus 96, which is minus 72 equal to 0. Now changing the sign through we get lambda cube minus 10 lambda square plus 12 lambda plus 72 equal to 0. Now using factor theorem we are going to find the values of lambda. Let's take lambda as 1. We get minus 1 minus 10 plus 12 plus 72 which is not equal to 0. Let's take lambda as minus 1. So minus 1 minus 10 minus 12 plus 72. Again, this is not equal to 0. Let's try with 2. 2 cube is 8 minus 2 square 4 into 10 which is minus 40 plus 24 plus 72 which is not equal to 0. And lambda is minus 2. We get minus 8 minus 40 minus 24 then plus 72. Combining all these things, we get minus 72 then plus 72 which is equal to 0. It means the one value of lambda is minus 2. We are going to use synthetic division by taking the coefficient of all these terms that is 1 minus 10, 12 and 72. So let's write it here 1 minus 10, 12, 72. We have to use the value of lambda which we got that is minus 2. Always we have to put 0. Adding this we have to write here. Multiply this and write it here. Adding this we get minus 12. Multiplying we get 24. Then adding this we get 36. Multiplying we get minus 72. And we get 0 when we add this. So using these terms we have to write the quadratic expression in terms of lambda. So one value of lambda is minus 2. Another value is lambda square minus 12 lambda plus 36 equal to 0. Product, C, product 36 sum minus 12. So lambda minus 6 into lambda minus 6 are the factors. Now from this we get 3 values of lambda. One is minus 2, other is 6 and other is 6. 
So these are the three eigen values. So it has both positive and negative eigen values. So we can say both positive and negative eigen values. Therefore, it is indefinite. 